What's up guys, so today we'll be installing the Tick Radar plugin in Backstage. So let's take a look. So Tick Radar is used by many companies like Spotify, Lando as a way to kind of set the standards for their engineers on what tools, what frameworks, what processes are approved and what processes are not approved. So it's a way for the technical architects to showcase um, and set standards for their developers. So here is an example you can see. Um, the example is showing you four different uh, buckets. The first bucket is use. And use means uh, all the tools and processes and infrastructure that is uh, allowed to use and recommended to use in the company. Trial usually means that these, these tools have uh, value um, and uh, you should uh, it's not recommended but uh, it's most likely going to be used so you can try this um, not not necessarily in production if you can avoid it that's good assess means uh, that there might be high risks in 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 uh, running this in production so it's still being evaluated by the organization um, you should definitely not even try this if you are a regular developer on hold means you are not allowed to use it we have tried this before, we have assessed this before, and there are some clear gaps and clear uh, limitations around it. So this was a framework created by uh, ThoughtWorks. I don't know if you have uh, heard about them. ThoughtWorks Tech Radar, um, they do that for several other, um, so yeah, like, like the open source tools and everything. So this is their public uh, Tech Radar. The Tech Radar plugin in Backstage is supposed to be your internal tech radar set by your own architects, right? So let's let's understand how to install this. Um, so this is the this is the plugin. Uh, it's a, it's a front end plugin that we will need to install. So here I have my front end and back end running, as you can see in my backstage app, um, and uh, as you can see the backstage is also running. So the tech radar plugin is a sidebar plugin that shows up in the sidebar here. If you are new to Backstage, check out other my other videos in, in this channel. There is a playlist where you can learn about this. So let's kill our front end and, and install um, the, the tech radar plugin. So let's go to packages app. This is where the front end lives. The back end lives in packages. Um, back end and, and this is the npm package name backstage community at tick radar so let's install that so this is a ui plugin um doesn't really do much it, it, it's you will you'll find out what this plugin does but still very very valuable way of uh, showing this information visually um <clears throat> so we'll first do the simple integration here where we will install this uh, on the route and then we will do the advanced configuration where we will uh, do this um, using some some code. So we have installed the plugin. Now uh, we need to add that uh, page inside our uh, router, the sidebar router. So let's go to this. Um, let's go to our packages app. If you're if you if you worry about the folder structure again, I have a video on this. Um, and uh, let's install the let's add the uh, page from tech radar so i've added this and then in the sidebar i will add it uh, as a new entry so here i can do something like this okay um and then the page has some width and height you can fix so you can just leave it uh, empty as well so this should be it uh let's uh, try to start the uh, front end again okay it's loaded now and uh, the sidebar does not have tech radar um well actually we have not added it to the sidebar we have added a route to it uh, so this this is where you can see tech radar is loaded so we will add it in the sidebar as well that is the next item but you can see some sample data is here you can see where they are um visually and then you can say well what about github actions so okay github actions is here it's inside the adopt um section okay so this is a simple data um first let's add it to the sidebar and then let's think about how to update the data so we go to our backstage app 
packages app uh, source components root dot tsx this is where our sidebar lives and we will say um, what's a good icon for decorate art maybe let's go to material ui icon and let's search for um, well, it's a tick radar. It's like an explore uh, thingy, maybe. Uh, let's let's get the explore icon. Um, I hope this is available in the older uh, material UI as well. So something like uh, import, and let's use this material UI icon. Um, so hopefully this will this will work. Let's use this. Okay, so now let's add the uh, entry here, sidebar item, icon is this, to tech radar, text is tech radar. You can also call this something else if you want to. Um, and, uh, oh, sidebar item, <laughs> sidebar item. All right, so this should be good. Let's let's take a look. Uh, it should be added to our. All right, so this icon doesn't exist. Explore icon uh, in the older version. So here we're gonna switch back to what version of Material UI are we using? Uh, let's let's find that out. So packages app package dot json material UI core. We are using version four, so that's why we need to switch to version four and then search for icons and these are the icons that we can use so okay we got one it's called explore icon uh, let's use that in the import perfect so now uh, this should be added to our sidebar as you can see here right this is great so we can access the sidebar now the, the last aspect to this is how do we uh, change this data right so the plugin docs talks about it a bit uh, where they have a sample uh, data uh, let's go let's go let's go back to the sample so search for sample here right the TS example can be found here so this is the uh, sample kind of like TypeScript uh, that you have to add um, and it's inside the um, inside the plugin itself um, so if you want to customize this there's something that you need to do is uh, you need to change um, the API uh, itself on, on how the TechRadar plugin is rendered so let's find the docs for that so this is where you can uh, do this um, so you need to override the tech radar uh, uh, API and then you need to provide uh, your own kind of the data for it it's not that kind of straightforward but um, we'll, we'll, we'll just get around it so let's do that let's first add it um, in our um, app.tsx so go to your source and you go to apis.ts so just uh, just information this is the place where you can customize some of the default apis that comes with uh, plugins so let's say the the tech radar plugin is defined to work in a certain way this is where you will override that behavior okay so what we will do is we will import that uh, tech radar api here uh, inside our uh, api.ts and this is where we will implement our own uh, tech radar client okay and uh, well I'm, i've defined everything in one file you can move this around and then import and this is where we'll also import the tech radar api ref or in the same import that i do here okay um, and then finally inside the apis we will uh at the at the end of this array we'll, we'll add uh, our own tech radar api implementation so this means that we have now overridden our um, tech radar API. So let's take a look at what this does. So this is our client. This has a load um, method and uh, we don't need an ID here. So we'll just remove that. 
and uh, if if needed, ID prop can be used to fetch the correct data. No, we don't need that. So so here we need a JSON. Okay, so let's say const uh, data equals to um, this is where we need the JSON. So let's define that JSON in a file here, right? So we can say uh, source. We can let's call it a new file. Let's call it techradar uh, JSON dot ts. Okay. And here, this is where we'll define that data const data equals to we'll export const data equals to and the JSON that we will define here will be this sample JSON that exists in the techradar plugin. So you go to techradar source. Uh, I think it's yeah, it's here sample.ts. So uh, this is what we need to return mock mock is entries quadrant strings right so this is what we need entries quadrant strings so let's just copy the copy everything here except the uh well copy everything including the import stuff yeah why not and just uh remove this export for now uh, paste this entire thing and this is where you need to do cons data re replace mock with data and this is our data that we will change okay and uh, whatever this is being imported just change this to the plugin so you can say backstage community uh, community plugin take radar so that's where you get to import the uh, take radar from uh, what about this API we're not using this API let's remove it okay perfect so we've got this, we are exporting this data uh, here. And uh, this is the data that we need to use in our TechRadar plugin. So this data will actually be imported, right? So we'll say uh, import, whoa, sorry, I can't type today. Import uh, data from slash TechRadar JSON, right? So we got that data here, and this is the data that is being used. Um, for example, this converts the timeline dates into date objects. Well, um, that's not needed here. What we'll do is we will just uh, um, return data here. So we'll say return data. This is where you can manipulate the data if you want to. But here I'm just returning the data and uh, I've got, well, sorry. Um, yeah, this is something we, not, we don't need. Cannot find TechRadar API. Well, why are you complaining then? Comma expected on oh, here. Yes. All right. So uh, we got a, we got, we have imported the TechRadar API in our backstage app. We have created a custom client. We have uh, given it a, uh, we have overridden that and this is the file that stores our TechRadar API. So let's see if this still works. Uh, let's go to our backstage app and it still works. Okay, now let's let's try to change something. So um, let's take a look. In, let's say this one has uh, GitHub Actions inside the adopt. Let's also add hardness uh, as a as a approved technology that you can adopt in here. So we go to the uh, adopt rings and we can see all the things that are there. Let's find where GitHub Actions is. Okay, so this is where we have added one entry. Um, and let's add one more entry in here, okay? So we say, uh, when was it, um, when was this uh, adopted? So we'll say this, this technology is approved to adopt and we'll say this happened in 2024 we don't need to say that this uh, was uh, in trial but w once once you start a new tech you will actually move this to trial and then move it to adopt so that's a history that you can maintain the uh, link is harness.io and this will be learn more so the key here will become harness ID will also become harness, title will become harness, and quadrant will be let's let's uh, 
we have four quadrants here you can define the quadrants yourself um i would say this is an infrastructure but ideally this should have been our devops platform or something but as you can see it's already here uh you can see that th there is a history to it and if you click on learn more you get to the uh, harness platform so this is how you can also customize the data uh understand the the concepts here the there are four concepts um there are quadrants that you define first so one two three four these four things you one two three four then you, there are rings that you can create um so four rings out of the box and then in every ring that that you just add an entry in a ring and a quadrant so that's the custom data last thing that i'll mention here is that you don't need to store this json here you can store this json in a github file separate separate from your backstage code and you can just load uh, that json file uh, when you are uh, loading this so here you can just load it load this json from somewhere else um, you can also keep it in a spreadsheet if you want to <laughs> and then write some apis to fetch that spreadsheet uh, and then see the data so hope that helps and uh, uh, check out some of my other videos if you want to learn more about backstage until then let me know what would you like to hear more i'll put some links in the description thank you